How you doing guys? Today I'm going to be um, playing around with the T20. Um, I've been using this radio for a while now and the only thing that, uh, that I wanted to change on it was internal crossfire. So what I'm going to do today is take the crossfire module and mount it internally. I'm going to be using uh, this antenna from Jumper. Um, not entirely sure how good this antenna will be. I'll have to do some testing on it to see how good it is. Um, but uh, I'll give it a go anyway and see what we can come up with. Um, the crossfire on the back is nothing wrong with it but personally I think it'd be a much better travel radio if I could mount that inside. Uh, it'll fit in the bag easier and I don't have to worry about damaging this on the outside which is always nice and with the antenna as well um, like I said I don't know how good it is but that being said um, if you look at the antenna be here I'll sort of zoom in for you uh, yeah there we go so if you look up close we got um, we got two bolts here which basically removes the entire antenna off this section uh, you'll have the same thing on the original one as well and there's a hole in the middle here where you can mount an SMA <clears throat> um, I've been debating with the idea of running a uh, S SMA um, split to two UFO FLs sorry <clears throat> so one will go to the internal crossfire and the other will go to the ELRS um, Personally, I don't use ELRS, so it doesn't really affect me. But um, it's nice to have uh, the ability to mount your own antennas on the radio. So that hole there would be perfect to mount your antenna uh, through there. So, but yeah, we're gonna try it anyway. Uh, I'll do some tests, like I said. Uh, we'll go from there. So hope you enjoy and. I'll take you through the process of mounting all this inside the radio. So let's go. Okay, so I've set everything aside. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to take apart the crossfire unit. Uh, we'll dismantle that and then we will solder on the included wire that you get with the kit. Uh, we'll go from there. So instead of boring you, I'll probably speed the video up to make it a bit more interesting. So yeah, here we go. So we have our main board from our Crossfire VTX, not VTX, sorry, um, module bay. <coughs> we have also soldered the three wires that needs to be uh, mounted on this board. Um, depending what version you have, uh, this is the version 2. But this version here was not in this case. Um, it was originally in a JR bay case, so we had uh, uh, a plug on here mounted which I previously cut off so what I had to do was um, resolder the wires in uh, use a sucker to pull out the pins in the tabs and then I just pushed the wires through and soldered them through but the the way that you need to solder them is the bottom pin here needs to be yellow the next up pin from that needs to be black and then the top pin there needs to be uh, red and after that then you got two pins which won't be used so that's how you wire that up and that wire comes with the kit as well so next we'll be uh, dismantling the T20 uh, what we'll do is we'll put this on and uh, wire it all up mount the board and uh, I'll take you through that process now Thank you. 
Okay, so we have dismantled the T20. Um, I removed the back case uh, from here then. We are going to remove this board here. Um, when you mount the metal plate on the back, this board uh, no longer get used. So you won't be able to use the features on the back here with your external power and your module. But I won't be using that personally, so um, you know if you're thinking about getting this kit you need to really consider does this um, module adapter here on the back is it useful to you if not then yeah this is ideal for you so what we'll do now is um, we'll mount the crossfire unit on the back here and we'll go from there so let's go and do that Okay, so we have the crossfire module in the back here. We have installed the metal plate. Um, it's pretty much ready to go. We have removed the PCB of the back, which applies power to your external module. <coughs> From here then, we're going to be mounting this antenna, which is pretty simple. Uh, move that out of the way. <coughs> so the front antenna is mounted by two bolts. You probably see me remove earlier. Uh, we'll slide that wire out of there. It might be better to remove this board first before we uh, do that. So that's what we'll do now. If you're probably wondering why I'm using this and not a screwdriver, um, it's less chances of stripping the plastic threads. So I always find it easier. Um, the screws are not that tight anyway, so they're manageable with your fingers. So we remove this board here, like that. Raise it off, just so it gives us enough gap to pull out the wire. There we go. Just move it out of the way. There we go. So it's stuck. Here we go. So on the new antenna as well, um, it's not labelled, but the way they have done it is, if you look at the top, you've got 2.4 that side, and you've got 915 that side, uh, or 860, 868, sorry. <coughs> so the 2.4 goes to your ELRS module, and then this one here, the longer one, goes to the Crossfire unit. So we'll do that now, um, speed it up and show you. <coughs> so let's get into that. Okay, so we have run the two wires through the uh, casing on the outside. <coughs> we have the long one is the crosswire, if you remember, and the short one is for the uh, ELR, EL, ELRS module. Um, so that's going to be the worst part about this. As you can see, I'll show you now. Uh, let me zoom in. 
yeah so if you can see the UFL antenna is right right in that gap there and then the one on the crossfire is for there so it's going to be a little tricky to get that in there but we, I think we'll manage to do it so let's get into reassembling the transmitter and go from there okay so here is complete um, we have mounted the antenna so now we have our internal crossfire in the in the back and we got ELRS as well in the same antenna which is pretty cool um, like I said earlier I don't know how good this antenna will be um, and what kind of range you're gonna get from it um, so a little testing and uh, see how it goes um, I'll let you guys know if it's good or bad in the near future but uh, yeah it's a nice clean look to it as well um, just remember as well you need to put the rubber grommet in the back so you can hide the holes <coughs> and so this will be removed uh, you won't be able to use this anymore which is an external um, module bay uh, which is not an issue for me but you know if you need to run external modules then this might not be a kit for you <coughs> so we set these aside don't particularly need them and here is the old antenna as well it's pretty much the same apart from it's a little bit smaller to the new one not a lot in it but uh, yeah should be nice radio to take with you in your bag uh, one of the biggest issues I have when traveling is how big a radio is and with the module hanging off the back it was a bit of a nuisance <clears throat> you're always worried that you're going to damage it so with this it's nice and compact uh, it'll fit in the bag nicely and you don't have to worry about taking the antennas off <clears throat> but this all goes down to how good this antenna is if it isn't that good um, what I'll do in the future is I'll take this off and just run an SMA through here <clears throat> but uh, yeah until then I'll try it out and see how it goes <clears throat> I hope you uh, like the video maybe you could take something from it uh, if you're thinking about upgrading your T20 as well and putting crossfire in it this video might be ideal for you um, but yeah until next time I'll see you again cheers guys also if you can uh, subscribe to my channel give us a like uh, tell me what your thoughts are on the video what would you like to see next time <clears throat> I'm always looking for ideas to make new videos so if you guys can help me out that'd be great uh, I know I got a lot of interest with the 10 inch that I designed lately um, I'll probably put a video out with that soon <clears throat> I haven't had a chance at the moment so uh, yeah until next time see you guys